Hello and welcome to a new episode on the Mercedes-Benz Do-It-Yourself channel. In today's video, I'm going to take out the back seat. See you after the break. In today's video I'm going to use an 8mm Allen key, an adjustable spanner, a ratchet, a 10mm socket, an extender, a TX40 bit and a bit adapter. First of all you need to push this little metal clips and take out the back seat. You can take it out of the car, put it aside. And now I put it on the roof. But if you have the opportunity put it somewhere that can't get dirty. To take out side cushions <clears throat> take your ratchet and get out this bolt it's the same on the other side after you did that put the seat pull the seat belt over your knee so it doesn't interfere with anything you are doing here and you can push this up and then you can pull it out you can put it aside and take out the other side before you can do anything else you need to Take out a part of your boot. To do so, you need to get out these metal eyes on both sides of the car. So you can pull this part out and you can. reach this bolt. First pull this ring and push it forward and then pull this cover off. Then you'll notice there is a TX40 screw here and you need to unbolt that one. And you can pull this out of its position and put it aside. Then then you need to put the back seat in the flat position and pull this cover towards you. Do not force anything because there are some plugs. If, just in like my case, the plug comes loose from this cover, make sure that you put the bottom side in first and make sure that the flat side comes in this slot and then you can push it back into place. Then you can put this piece aside and then you need to take
take the adjustable spanner and the allen key you need to take out this bolt bolt in, in its place so you can take out the bolts on the other sides here and here after you remove the bolt in the boot you need to take out the same bolt on the front side of the back seat After you got out those two bolts, you need to take out these two bolts on the left and the right side of the car. <clears throat> After you got out those two bolts, you can carefully lift the seat out of the car and it's the same procedure for the other side of the car. Oops, I forgot to mention, you need to take out this bolt here, which holds the seat belt. So you take your adjustable pliers and get it out. When you get out this bolt, you can carefully lift out the back seat. If you want, you can clean everything here. In my case, I don't need to do anything. So I'm just going to put it back in. <music> to make things a bit easier, first, Put back in the seat belt. Please make sure that this bolt is secured properly because it is possible in the future someone's lives depends on it if this cutout isn't over the notch in the body please make sure that you take it out again and secure it properly just like I did and then after you put back in the seat belt you can put back the back seat and to do so you need to put the hinge here 
over the bald hair. And then you can put this back here and put the bolt the other side in. And now the back bolt. So it doesn't come out again. Then you need to put back in this these two bolts here to secure this part of the back seat back in place. Then after you put back in this part, put back in the other part of the back seat. First of all, take off the bolts, the nuts, I need to say. And then grab the other part of the back seat. This side is actually the same steps. Make sure this cutout is going over the screw on the other new bottom. That this one goes over this bowl. Keep it in place. Let's put back in these two bolts by hand. You don't have to tighten it down already. Just make sure. Just make sure that the bolt isn't falling out of the hole. Then grab the Allen key and put back this screw. Right, after that, put back in two bolts on the other side here next put back in the side cushions on both sides of the car make sure that all these metal pieces and clips get back in their respective place to show you these places I'm going to take the camera and show you that this piece goes here that this piece goes in here above the hinge put back in this bolt and if everything is in its correct place it goes in without any struggle.
other side is the same steps. So I'm just going to fast forward this one. After you did that, please make sure everything is working like it should. Because you have now the opportunity to tweak everything before you put back any, all the last pieces. It looks like everything is working like it should and everything is secure so I'm going to put back in I'm going to tighten this last piece and then put back in this cover in the back seat before you can tighten this one down make sure both seats are full in the forward position so you can reach everything Put back in this last piece. You need to get out get out this wooden cover. But because I have all kinds of private stuff under here. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit and put back in the cover which belongs here. To make things easy, first put in this side Make sure that, that it is in its final position and then push down the cover into place. Now you can put back in this wooden cover. Then you need to put back in this metal rings. To do so, you need to put back in this TX40 screw. Then, for the final piece, put back the back seat into place. Put back in the back seat cushions. Make sure to get the seat belts back into place and then push it all the way into the back seat and then firmly press it down until you hear a metal click well that's it for this week's episode if you enjoyed the video please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do so already hope to see you next week and thanks for watching Bye-bye.